this is the first of two videos on how to play this amazing piece guitar by Dominic Miller and of course sung by Sting and <coughs> excuse me I do suggest you look at the video that um, Dominic Miller's just I think fairly recently put up on YouTube which is him just talking about the piece and about practicing and some really good stuff so let's get going um, it's a lot harder than it may seem particularly there's this bit in the middle there very difficult as you can see um, and I'll teach you show you a little bit about how to get get around that so we start with the first opening which is just those three strings you're playing this one ninth fret on the fifth string and you're anchoring on your G string on that note just there on the sixth fret okay and the tenth fret with your little finger on the B string. So, so it's now this stays here. So these this one moves down, this one moves down to there. Okay. Now the whole shape moves down at once. Next bit, it's slightly different. It's not that, it's that. So now that's the that note moves up one to a D. Now this moves down, those two move down, but this one goes there. You can't go, it's completely wrong. You have to go. Shape moves again. <clears throat> now this part you get rid of that bar completely. Put this first finger here. So it's sorry that was a mistake. It's on the G string and on the B, that little finger. It's a very complicated shape this. chord I think is should be the name of this piece not shape of my heart but you've got to get it and you've got to be as clean as possible under pressure so it's very hard next chord is perhaps even harder but I'm going to give you some ideas to help so lift up these two now keep these two on here so you move down three frets to there okay and this one plonk it there level with your little finger there so you sound those three strings and now do a pull off okay so it's okay these slide down to there and forms that chord there. Basically an A7. Moved up four frets. Okay. And then so that moves up one. So so you're moving that shape up to here. D7. These two move to here. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is make it as easy as possible for, for me and for you so that you can make these changes under pressure or playing to people or playing most importantly with a singer. Okay, so most slide down. So let's go through that again. I'm going to go to it really slowly. It may not be absolutely in tune, but the important in time. But the, the point is to play along. Okay.
to do it really slowly and especially this middle part I've got a little exercise you could try okay second video I'm going to show you there's a move uh, to a second part where it's, it's actually up there. And then in that it moves to this part, which is echoing what's happening over here. detail next time but I'm just saying it's that pattern is repeated later on and then when he goes it's actually a little bit easier on those chords as well okay well there you have it that's the first part um, to go back to the original I'm grateful even going back to source that the source material which is Dominic actually playing that piece on his own um, because he's doing quite a few things like uh, you know it's not just uh, sorry he's adding some bass notes which I hadn't really noticed before but they really give it something special so it's sort of a bit more rhythm when he's doing this chord he's also he goes to keep the thing flowing and that big full stop at the end it's got to be a full full chord um, okay, well, I hope you enjoy that. Um, really work at it. And in the next video, I'll also give some ideas to make this a solo piece as well. You can also make it a really nice duet. Um, here's a thought I had the other day, which is when you're playing these... Okay, you can do a lead like this. piece it, it, it sounds quite effective but I'm sure you'll have your own ideas as well uh, anyway enjoy it and um, happy playing thank you <laughs>